Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I, I got him. She sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. But real sweet. Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kinda. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't, I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I actually had another message from June Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna... Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... Who's Isabel? They were... Close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. I don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? Lost Hope? If you're there, I'm sure things will be okay. Like, I mean, you wouldn't let nothing bad happen to me, right? Thanks for asking, by the by. It means something to know you. this work? Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Oh, no, that's just, that's on account of mine not being able to sleep lately. Makes my hands all twitchy, you know? I just been lying awake, thinking about what June Lay said, and feeling my heart shake. Oh, beer. I guess, yeah, I can do that. Beer can be good. I bet. Bottoms up. Think of it like a fizzy tea that's gone a little off. Ah. This tastes like the underside of a boot. People drink that for fun? Oh, Captain. I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Specifically. Definitely. Definitely specifically. Oh. Oh, why'd I drink that? I mean, just... with June Lei. I don't know what to do about... us. 
Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. Exactly. Takes a lot of trust to hand over that kind of blackmail material. Uh, I, I don't know, I'd call it, uh, sensual. That's a lot. It, it did. Oh dear, I hadn't really... Oh my goodness. And I told you? Let's read it right now, just to be sure. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lay still has feelings for her? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I, I need another drink. Right now, before I lose my nerve. <laughs> Come on, Captain! I'm here to drink! Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Aw, this was just about to get fun. Shush you. Oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but... I'm so scared. You're swell, Captain, don't get me wrong. I like spending time with you, going on adventures and all, but that ain't the same as... as... romance. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we... we get together and... she gets bored of me? There's nothing easy about... about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? Of course. Wouldn't you be? I envy your boldness of spirit, Captain. I can only hope a little bit of it rubs off on me. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... ungenerous thoughts. Well, I suppose so, but... I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person, worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Oh, gosh. I... I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Okay. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. This was fun. We should do it again after you send that message. Huh. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go.